Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. So we're starting this one off in the uh, freezer, the bait freezer here. We're gonna get ready for some Dungeness Crab. Season starts here in a few days. And I wanna start defrosting my bait and load some bait bags up, some bait cans. And uh, once we get this bait here on the lawn, we're gonna head over to Outdoor Pro Shop. So the hair and that are flat here, we'll go ahead and keep those. Definitely use those for some halibut. All right, well this is all the bait we're gonna be utilizing. Got some leftover bags we didn't use from last year. I have albacore heads in them. That salmon from my Columbia River trip. This bag has mackerel or sardines from a trip that we came back with, didn't use. Old salmon, did hit 22 on it. A little piece of albacore, some herring, some other bait. Over here we got uh, albacore heads, scraps. So uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and get in the truck, head over to Outdoor Pro Shop, get some new hoop nets, get some bags to put all this bait in, some cans, and then we'll come back here and I'll show you exactly how I make the bait bags. Um, and then, yeah, show you more of the hoop nets, what we're getting here and how they're rigged up. So yeah, we'll see you over at Outdoor Pro Shop. All right, we're just arriving to Outdoor Pro Shop. I've been going to this place for over 20 years. Been my local bait shop, my favorite tackle store. Call it my toy store. Let's go ahead and See what kind of selection of crab gear they have today. So they have these Pitbull Tackle hoop nets. Those look real nice. And the bait bags I was talking about. So that's what we're gonna use to uh, stuff all of our bait with. We'll use some clips as well for some bait cans. Gonna have to check these out, but I think these are to put around the hoop nets to make them heavier. Gonna need to get some more info on that, but that is really cool. Imagine you can put these around anyone's hoop net too. So they have a great assortment of the different lengths of the rope you're gonna want. This is leaded rope. Make sure you're using leaded rope out there. A lot of the other stuff will float, um, which will get, you know, your hoop net's gonna get ran over. It's gonna get in someone's prop, the rope. They're gonna cut it. You're gonna lose your trap, so. Go ahead and get some of the leaded rope. They got it in different sizes here, 100 feet, 150, and 200. If you're going from a boat, probably get the 200 feet. You're always gonna need about 20% extra, otherwise you'll lose your uh, hoop net because there's gonna be some bow in the uh, rope and also as the swell goes up and down. So if you don't wanna rig it all up yourself, you know, get the rope on there, tie the buoy. Um, you can buy them already uh, pre-rigged up. So these little red ones, hoop nets, you don't have to have them, um, but for the traps you do, and a lot of the times, you're gonna be taking your rope off of your hoop net, put it onto your trap, so already having that on there, uh, just something you don't have to worry about when you switch it over to traps. So different uh, colors, sizes. You're probably gonna wanna go with the bigger size one. That's from my experience, especially if you have 200 feet of rope. Um, Cause remember again, that was leaded rope it's going to have weight to it and pull down these buoys. Um, I wouldn't want to put 200 foot of leaded rope on the smaller one, go for the big one. It says they're six by 14 inches. Maybe you have old traps that need new harnesses. They have that here. All right, well, if you guys haven't visited Outdoor Pro Shop, make sure you guys go ahead and stop in. Uh, great selection of gear. As you guys can see, the store is humongous. They have all the best brands, uh, great staff. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on how to fish for something in the area, I'll definitely come in, you know, ask the people who work here. They'll be more than happy to help and show you uh, how to catch more fish. So we're gonna go ahead and grab six of these hoop nets right now, bring them to the car, and yeah, we'll start uh, loading up that bait. Are back home now. I like them because they're really good size. Brought the tape measure out so we can actually measure them, see how the height is. 
and how wide. I'm pretty sure they're 36 inches. I'm not exactly sure on the height. Maybe you guys are curious. I'm sure it's all as, as big as you can get for, per regulations in California. Um, so yeah, we got 200 feet of rope. I got matching orange buoys. Looks like they're 10 inches. I'm guessing that's the maximum height you could have. And uh, I forget if these were 14 or 15 pounds. Um, but if you saw, they had these rings. So we'll be able to go ahead and slide a ring around it, which will add seven pounds of weight. So with that attached, we can zip tie with some heavy duty zip ties around there. It'll add seven pounds of weight. And then it'll also give protection to the boat, you know, with having this nice rubber coating. And I thought these were really great. I mean, they were inexpensive, I think $20. So the idea is we want the crab to come into the cage, start eating. These are kind of all like chew bags. So the crab should be able to start getting the food that's out of here. And if you put in like anchovies, squid, it can go real fast. So we're gonna try and put hardier things in here like heads, um, something they can, you know, still chew on but um, won't, you know, disintegrate in an hour. And these jars will put in anchovies, squid, that type of bait fish, smaller stuff. This will attract them in. So here's salmon for my Columbia River trip. And there's a piece from the giant bluefin tuna. So we'll put a little knot in the bag right there, which will cinch it closed. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a bunch of these bags up. What I've learned on the albacore is put the beaks up so that when you close it, you can make the circle really nice around it and tight. That's a nice bag. So these are sardines. Forget where I got them, but we got a bunch of frozen ones here. I'm gonna put them in the bag because they're a little bit bigger. They will get shredded through and taken out pretty quickly though. Now I remember where I got them. The first day of live bait in San Francisco Bay at JMP. That's what they had this year. Sucks, one of my gloves ripped. Ah. So this part you don't have to do, it's a little overkill filling these up, but I have the extra bait, I have these cans, might as well just use it and have some really good bait out there. So I've even like cut it up before Get all the guts exposed and all that. All right, well we got all the bait in the bags, the cans. And yeah, excited for the crab opener. So I'll be going out with my friends and both my deck hands uh, for the opener. There'll be six of us on the boat. Can hopefully get limits of crab. Conditions are not very good, so we're not gonna be able to go out too far probably. Probably not gonna rock fish. We'll bring the poles. We'll see what it's like out there. Um, and if you like what you see in this video and you want to do it, I do run charters. I do take people out to catch these crab, do the rock fishing combo. Um, so if you're interested, my contact information is there. Go ahead and reach out to me and we'll get you out there for some crab. But all right, should be a fun one. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, we've arrived. Crab opener. Line's not too bad yet. 6.35 in the morning. What's up? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. We got Eric, Joey, Ahmed, Gabe, Kevin. Got the crew out here on the opener today. Got our 12 hoop nets. Some nice weather this morning inside here it looks like, but 
think it'll pick up once we head out the jetty. So I used the phone with Navionics and got the Garmin there. Just beating the sun. It's coming up right now. Getting our first ones down. So you guys saw the bait we put in them. Not sure exactly what's in that one. It stinks. <laughs> All right, we're dropping in 60 feet of water to start. Hoop net starting off our 2024 season. So we're gonna drop 12 of them in. Spread them out maybe about 100 to 200 feet apart. And then we might just come back and uh, pull on. Let's see, what time is it? Some other time? Well, 7 11. Make sure they soak probably for at least an hour. So we'll be back to that one in uh, yeah, hour, hour and a half's time. All right, Mark. Done. Off to the next one. Just slow down. Enjoy grab that. Don't you hate new ropes? Oh, look, it's a mess. All right, plan B. All right, you guys can just let it go. Go straight down the water. All right, buoy over. All right, Mark. Maybe that's the trick. Yeah, going that way. So we found the easier way on the new spool, let it out from the end versus letting it out. Let it out from the buoy end, not the pot end. At least the way this one's yeah. been uh, tied up. It just depends which way the guy breaks it. <laughs> no tangles that way. I got a color in the water. Oh yeah, there's red tide in here. <laughs> like that one? Yeah, that okay. just literally, <laughs> that's bluefin backbone. Okay. Hey, yeah. okay, look at that bait. <laughs> you guys didn't know I have a helm back here, so that's what we're fighting the tuna. I'm usually back here, and now I'm using it for uh, dropping the crab pots. Kind of nice to be back where all the action's at, um, and uh, save the hours on the main motor. Kicker. Right now we're just kind of going in a straight line, dropping the uh, the pots along there. So if we got four in the boats at the moment, so we've dropped eight so far. It's like that's left. Got the screen right here. We're marking them all. You can see the string. Last one just went in. Let's see what time it is. We started at 7:11. That felt pretty efficient. 7:41. 30 minutes. This is spot. Hell, man. This is the spot where we dropped our first one. I don't like this. Getting one here in two weeks. It's funny. My boss just asked me that. He was like, "Are you wait your allotted time?" Probably not. No. Bet? No. Nope. Looks bad. Oh yeah. There's crab. There's crab here, guys. There's oh, there is. is. All right, we've been anxiously waiting. It's been an hour now. Anxious. Anxious. Gabe pulls his crab snare every three minutes. Mm -hmm. Two. Uh, two. Two minutes. <laughs> you really thought you had a biter. Me too. This game uh, sucks. Right. Let's go use the puller. Nothing. <laughs> Damn it, Joey! All right, let's Fine. go see what's in the hoop nets. Man! All right, 
right, what are the bets on the first pot? Uh, seven keepers. Seven? Yeah. seven I'm going keepers. one. Really? I'm going four. Give me three. I like to set my expectations. I mean, the over-under is two. But that's the better line. I'm on the under. I'm going over two keepers. Yeah. Chris, make sure we're like eight feet away so Joey has to switch to the fucking game. Do you see it yet? Uh, uh, it's somewhere straight ahead. <laughs> it's somewhere around here. Morning. Yeah. Alright, Joey, I'm not going to judge you. Anticipation of the first one. There she blows. Oh, fight it or bit. In there, what do we got, guys? Three keepers, actually four, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Four? Yeah, two and a half. Two keepers. Two keepers. Two keepers. But if we get two and a half per pull, we're out of here after two sets. Yep. Spot. Yeah. I mean, we gotta find one of these pots with several keepers in there, right? It's looking heavy. Maybe number five is a good one here. We need it. Fish? What are you even catching? Brown <laughs> water. Yeah, red tide. Uh, here, here we go. No, two keepers though. I think. No. No, no keepers. All right, we're not getting the results we're hoping for, so we're gonna start stacking them in the boat. We're in like. You know, 60, 70, 80 feet of water. We're going to go deeper, maybe 120, 130 uh, on the next set. At least half of the ones on the next set. We, we did drop, you know, some of the first ones back in the shallow water. So bad. Yeah, I wonder Actually, if the red tide affects it's, the it's, crabbing. It's, it's got it. This, this will work. You guys can see how dark this water is. I think there's a red tide going on. The visibility is like one foot. But yeah, I think that's eight pools now, eight keepers. Can we get one keeper in there? Yeah, I think so. That's a good one. A bunch of keepers. Yeah, we had eight. Eight, eight. Two, two. 
We had eight? Yeah, yeah I heard eight. So four, yeah. Thirteen. So we did the uh, 11 pulls so far. This is number 12, so the last one in the first set. Make you look ahead too. Oh, 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 oh we got oh. a flatfish. Sand pad. So we're gonna go drop some of these in some deeper water now. Kind of switch spots a little bit. Looks like inside and shallower. Not going good, at least not the uh, 60, 70 feet spot. Drop those four out deeper. Now we're back to the first one, pulling it again. All right, Joey, let's see if you can get it from here. Oh, don't miss, Joey, no pressure. Yeah. Why don't you have like the spike though? Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that stud. Oh, yeah. Look at that stud. <laughs> professional crabber. Crab in this one. Oh, yeah. You think there is crab? crab. I think there's probably crab. It feels crab. It feels heavy. All right, all right. Ninja Warrior Eric says we have fish. <laughs> <or> crab. <laughs> there's a big halibut in there somewhere. Pacific halibut. All right. Oh, color. Crab. Yeah, crab. see, look at that. Crab. Look what happened to the coat. Oh, oh is that uh, bluefin, too. Our good piece of One. bait. Two. All right, at least we're getting back on the board. So we've been keeping a lot of the keepers in this bucket right here. Make sure you, if you're doing that, you're changing the water out. They need fresh water and oxygen, new oxygen in the water to stay alive. So aerators are new water. Color. We got one. As you know, we're on the second set of 12 now. The crabbing is very consistent, about one keeper and two smalls on average each pool. Five keepers and one is the best score yet. We do get another good haul here in a little bit. Out in the deeper water, there looks to be maybe some bigger crab, but the average remains the same. Eric, show that big one to the camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. Show the people. That's the one we want. Our first jumbo. <laughs> Yeah, it's not even a true jumbo. Six and three quarters, probably. It's big. Oh, it's big. Sure That's is. just under seven. Ooh, color. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. One big one again. <laughs> the bait bag looked like one. Yeah, fuck, I thought I saw two in there. Big one? Yeah, one, yeah, good. One good one. Six and a half, maybe. Yeah. So we're at 29 now? 29. All right, working pretty hard for him, 29. Pretty much averaging one a pool. Uh, at least they're getting a little bigger now. A couple on them. That's two keepers. One. Two. Three. God, he's struggling. Watch, we yeah. have like five here. That'd be great. That would be amazing. It's the horsepower on this thing. Me? It's rated for 100 pounds, whatever that means. I don't know how much weight the drag of all the stuff weighs, though. Joey, get ready to hit the button. Oh, oh something. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Good one? Yeah. Yeah, those are, that, those are most nice. Yeah, every single one of them. Oh, yeah. God, your spot is so good. One, two, two, three, three, four, four. Come on, give me that five. Five, five. Yes. Send it back. Send it back. Send it back. Yeah. 
We're jumping ahead to the last pool. We did three sets and a couple extra, probably 40 pools on the day. We currently have 44 crab, which we decided was a nice haul as the weather's picking up around noon. I told everyone I got to do the last pool of the day. Yeah. Oh, it's so heavy. Is the puller working? He unpooled it. It wasn't working. No. All right. Biggest one of the day is coming up. Button. Oh yeah, we got one or two. Two. All right. So Jumbo. Ending with 46. Two in there? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Nice. It's a real nice one. Yeah. Yes, 46. Get all you guys license ready? Oh, yeah. I have mine ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you just want to make sure. Yeah. Alright, right, so I'm just going to check crabs first. Did you guys get a. Did you guys limit out or? No. We have 46. 46? Okay. You're going to hold my license while I go get the truck yeah, and stuff? So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up writing on them just the amount of uh, crabs you guys got. Alright. So I'll just hold on to them right now. Do you guys keep track of that now? On the opener, yeah, because we have too many people who leave here and come right back out. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple. Oh, we got, we got a couple, couple of jumps. Or they like to go to the campground and then they come back that's, kind of thing. That's okay. crazy, though. What, what, what's your YouTube channel? Crispy, Crispy fish. fish. Crispy Fish? Oh, man, guys. Oh, it's short. I don't know. And then I always Four. check mine against yours. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, of course. Yeah. We had a... Yeah, I was going to say, it, was it 46? It was 44, 46. 46? We had like three people count just in case. <laughs> yeah, we just like, we, we like to play it safe. Hey, what's up? Do you think? Do you want me to pull mine back up? Yeah. Yeah, of course. We're going to have it right on it. That's all good. Sorry about that. Don't be. Good job. Nice boat. What boat is this? Chris, they got it. Get in the trailer. Nice. It's a badass boat. It's tight, man. Sweet. About three. Three. Yeah. Three fish. All right, uh, appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right, back on land now. We got a bunch of crab in here. 20 gallons, pretty much filled to the top. What was the total count, Joey? 46. 46, pretty good amount. You guys have a good day out there today? Oh, yeah. Great day. Great day. Gabe? I always have fun. Good. Came in a little early. Conditions got pretty bad out there. Uh, we could have, you know, held out for a couple more, but we're getting one a pool. It's probably taking another hour or two, so came in a little bit early. Yeah, a little friend trip today. All right, so we're going to start sorting all the crabs in these bags here. About seven or eight a piece. Uh, remember, I have my captain's license now and do a six pack charter. So, if you guys are interested in going crabbing, we'll be doing crabbing only and crab and rockfish combos. So, uh, go ahead and message me. We'll get you out here on the boat and get some crab and rockfish. Uh, but, great day out here. Looking forward to having some crab tonight. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later, guys.